Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is getting cooler out finally. You'll hear me quit griping on these videos about it being so dang warm in Texas. It is almost, almost fall, looking forward to it. But anyway, so today the video, what I wanna to touch on, uh, you can tell again, I'm out here on the yard at Diamond C at the factory. You can see that there's that long building there. That is the DM Coating Systems building up there. There's a, the office, if you haven't, haven't seen me point that out in a video. But what I'm going over today is our color selection. You know, we've got probably a total of eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, maybe 13 different colors available on our website or so. Uh, always been a big fan of colors other than black. Black is so boring. It's uh, obvious it's a necessary, necessary evil, I would call it, because, you know, it, it is a, a very common color. People love black because it goes with anything. But we love to be able to give you options when you're outfitting your next Diamond C to where it can fit either it can match the color of what your equipment is or your race car or what have you. So we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna go with you know the solid colors first. We'll get into the metallics and then we'll go into the special colors after that. So let's jump right to it. So obviously black, number one color. Uh, we do more black than anything. Yeah, you know, not, not way, way more black than anything, but black is black. What color, what shade of black do you want? It's just a bright, a good gloss black, deep black color. Uh, all the colors that we'll talk about are all the same DM coating process. They're all formulated the same. They all have the same corrosion resistance, the same durability factor. They're all super high performance colors, but the, obviously different pigments to give you different colors. So the number two, let's see, the number two solid we'll go to is this cement gray. This is a solid, as well no metal flake no sparkle it's a great industrious gray color uh, man it's it's kind of a medium color great for the job site hauling equipment what have you i mean the, the, the cement gray is new the last few years has really taken off so we're gonna fast forward go right over here to white white is the third the third solid color that we spray see it's a bright white there's no metal flake in it super pretty color kind of this one's kind of dirty obviously really pops well with the black accents the black wood on the floor looks really good got the black coupler pops really nicely so white's a good color if you're in this disclaimer if you're in texas in the south and you know up way up north and in, in areas where it's lots of ice and snow and salt and those things um you know, white doesn't fare as well over time. Still the same great color, just shows more, uh, shows more when it is scratched or scraped or whatever, and it, you know, it shows more wear easier than black. Out west, white fares a lot better. We do a lot of white out in Arizona, California, things like that where it's not nearly as, as humid outside. So those are our three solids. We'll jump next into the charcoal gray metallic. Definitely one of my most favorite colors. If you can see that, I'm not real sure, but the sparkle in the charcoal gray metallic is awesome. Definitely my favorite color out of the bunch. It is still a neutral color. Goes with most everything. Like you can't hardly not match this charcoal gray. So definitely one of our most uh, favorite colors and ones that you know sells really well. It's, you know just because people love it. So. Next, we got the medium. It's a diamond sea blue, we call it. It is a uh, metallic as well. Got metal flake, sparkles really nice in the sun. It's on a couple of LPXs there, but the blue is nice. That's our DC blue. You know, we're all about the blue color. All right, so we got this HDT that is the bright silver metallic. Same thing, it's kind of overcast today, so it's hard to tell, but the silver metallic is a beautiful color bright color kind of like the white you know as far as the the what it, how it shows so you know if you're one who particular about as you work your trailer knowing that knowing that we build these for the working man like you know it's inevitable they get scratched when you're working them even when you take care of your stuff very well they get scratched so silver's a great color but if you're really particular probably steer closer to the darker colors here's a f max and the mocha now the mocha is a a tan kind of color you can see matches pretty well with like the two-tone on some of your Ford pickups and and those it's a really pretty color it's got metallic Ooh, it's a 40k 
It's got metallic in it. It's a nice shiny, shiny color, kind of a gold tint more than a, a true mocha. So there you have the metallics. Now we're gonna jump into, oh, I did, I got out of sync. Here's a red, beautiful bright red, fire engine kind of red. That's a solid color. So I missed that in the solids earlier. Beautiful red color, red stands out. First color, I've always heard the first color that a cop sees is red. So yeah, yeah make sure you're on point if you're pulling red, right? Let's see. All right, so we're getting into our other colors that are the little bit specialty colors. This is what we call our tractor green. This HDT gooseneck. This color resembles obviously John Deere green. Um, it is not the same formulation there, hence that's why we call it tractor green, but it is a very close, uh, close color to the John Deere green, complements their products very well. Another color in the green family is the lime green. Lime green has kind of taken taken on a, a life of its own the last couple of years. People love the loud, you know, if you're that personality, you love the loud standing out of the lime green. Here's a cool DET gooseneck, lime green. Really looks good again with the black accents. Get the black winch box, black jack, black wheels, black logo. Looks really cool. All right, there's lime green. We got to make our way back over here to a commercial yellow and then industrial orange and that will wrap up our our video so i like to show you know i've shown a couple of uh dump trailers a few goosenecks but i like to show the colors on the dump trailers because you got all that surface area you can get a really good feel for the you know the the hue and the color and the kind of the the de depth of the color so Here's the commercial yellow, very similar to a cat yellow color. Again, it's not the exact formulation, but it is very close to the cat product. So complements their stuff well. You can just see big old nice cat skid steer sitting right up in here doing work, getting ready to do work. Moving on down, industrial orange, our next color. Industrial orange is similar to a Kubota color kind of it complements their products pretty well here is our industrial orange got a loud pop to it if you're on the the job site I mean they're definitely or headed to it they're gonna see you coming no doubt Kubota orange or industrial orange 16 foot LPD beautiful color all right guys that is going to wrap up make sure hold on and make sure I hadn't missed any colors all right, got black, metallic gray, metallic silver, white, mocha, blue, red, cement gray, and on the special colors, tractor green, industrial arms, lime green. Ah, desert tan. We do not have a desert tan trailer on hand here at the factory. It is a, an OD tan. We can do kind of an overlay right here where you can see a picture of a desert tan color. But desert tan is kind of a, it's a, again, like an OD army style tan color. Pretty cool color. Uh, don't, do a ton of it but it is available on the site so you can take a look there check out the learning center on the website there's a full color guide there uh, kind of talks about the dm coding process there's if you haven't watched those videos you can go check the there's a couple of videos on the dm coding itself out there and how we do that so make sure to check out the learning center it's a great resource for all things diamond c culture options features what makes diamond c different and well, what, what does that mean to you? So you can learn that at the lear on the Learning Center uh, while you're poking around. But anyways, I appreciate your time. I hope you found this video insightful. Leave any feedback you have in the comments and we'll see you on the road.